in the Army. Uh, I have several disclaimers. I grew up in South Louisiana, in South Mississippi, and I'm talking to my hands. Can't help it. Um, sometimes I forget what I'm saying, and I forget words. And I've managed to be, become 62 years old, and I never thought I would be older. So I go back to that frequently because it just surprises me every day. And as I have aged, I've changed. So my work has changed. So this first part of the talk, I want to talk to you about how artists change. And in the second time, I'll talk to you a little bit more about my personal technique. My other disclaimer is, if you disagree with something I say, that's okay. I don't care. <laughs> um, and, and you may, but it's okay. I work in acrylic mixed media, and the faces and this kind of stuff is my work right here. Um, like I said, I'm 62, and I never thought I would be 62. I started out making stuff. I had a wholesale business for 25 years, and I did what I was supposed to because I got married, had two sons, and I did what I was supposed to. And at 25 years, I was done. Uh, sometimes God takes you and puts you to other places, and he put me in another place. Uh, I think it was 25 years. Katie worked for me and ran my studio. She's my shepherd tonight. Um, but he, he put me in another place. So I closed my business down and I decided I would do what I wanted to. So I started painting big canvases. I like big stuff. It drives me crazy to paint small. It drives me crazy to have to remain within a certain, certain size, certain place, certain. As soon as you tell me you have to do this, I'm going a different direction. I, I like bigger stuff. I, I, just, it, it, I can express more, I can go where I want to. And when you can find it, it's just not any fun anymore. So, I work large scale Thank you. and without boundaries. And yeah, now I have completely forgotten where I was going. Oh, sorry. <laughs> it's your fault. Mm -hmm. you it's, it's not your fault. Actually, I, thank you, Kim. She put me back on track. I changed. This was a real early work. And artists change just like your life changes. It's okay. I kept it because I like the color and I like this figure in the background. But now I'm doing these real expressive faces. Um, sometimes they're not exactly friendly and not exactly what you want to look at. They're not always pretty. But that's where I was that day. I kind of struggle with emotions. Um, in that I'm, I'm married to a man that has absolutely, if he has any emotions, they're as plain as this wall. <laughs> he's a really, really, really nice man. But he's just, it's fine. Everything is fine. Well, everything is not always fine. And I had two sons. My oldest son uh, was a lot like me. You know, he, he never saw anything he didn't want to do, at least once. And my other son is exactly like my husband. So I played this, this struggle within this family of trying to figure out well, who's on what level, when and where, and, and I juggled everybody. But in my art, I don't have to. I did not start painting canvases until uh, 2010, no, 2009. Um, my oldest son passed away when, at 2007. He became ill, great guy, lived the biggest life that any human being could possibly live. But he got sick, and he, God had to take him home. So I kind of quit living, and I quit living for about two years. Nobody knew, because I sat down on my back porch, and I pretended for everybody. But I just kind of stopped. And then one day I thought, okay, if I, get, don't sit, if I sit, keep sitting on this back porch, I'm going to die. So I decided I needed to get up and do something. And I started painting. And some of the canvases were not very nice. They were not very pretty. But that's where I put those emotions. That's where I put the sadness. And I've actually had people say, well, they all look so sad. And when they say it to me, I'm always thinking, but I was. <laughs> I was sad that day. And every now and then I go back. But not always. And now they're just very, very expressive. And it's, it's, it, they, I'm, I'm not crazy. Too bad. I am a little crazy. <laughs> they don't actually talk to me. 
But the canvases have become my company. I used to have a whole bunch of girls that worked for me, and the, and the studio was buzzing, and Katie was running, and I was yelling at people, and the phone was ringing, and the UPS truck was getting stuck in the front yard, the dogs were coming inside, the horses were being taken, and it was a zoo. And it really was. It was fun, but then it became very quiet. And I thought, okay, this is not good. My husband was still working. So I have dogs, and I had this quietness. And it gave me time to pay what I wanted to pay. And it gave me time to find these faces. And they're beautiful to me. Even the dark ones that, that look sad to people, there's still beauty within that darkness to me. And it, it made the day okay. And for me now, it's just fantastic. It's like the biggest adrenaline rush I've ever had. And I went to college in the 70s at Ole Miss. <laughs> That's a statement to be made right now. <laughs> because when I was in college, I, I, I think God put governors on me. And I've been very, very, very grateful for it. Because when I was in college, I had no money. If I had had money, I would not have graduated from college. Now, I have another governor because I'm 62 years old. And my health is beginning to wane just a little bit. And I get too tired to do all the stuff I want to do. Fortunately. Otherwise, I would probably not make it through the day because there's always something I need to go do. There's always something I need to go see. It's a curiosity. I've been like this forever. I drove my mother insane. Fortunately, I was the last kid and she was really tired by the time I woke up. So I was kind of like, just don't call me from the hospital and go. And I did. And my father told me that I could be anything I wanted to be because I could read. He didn't mean for me to believe him, but I did. <laughs> so that took me a whole different level. And the reason I'm saying this about myself is that's where I put my paintings. That's where I go. That's, that's, that's the fun for me now. I can fall into that pain and I can paint all day long. I'm married to a very, very nice man, even though he has very, very, very plain emotions. A super nice guy. And I'll stay in the studio sometimes for three or four days. And I'll come out, I'll pet a dog, I'll eat something, I'll go back in, because that's what I want to do right now. I don't have any children that depend on me. Nobody depends on me for anything now. So it's pretty good. And the reason I'm saying that is you can see it in my work. I can see it, and it's changed from this. And I go back and I look at other artists' work so that I can see if, if their work, if they've changed, how they, how they change. Um, everybody has their favorite artist. I like Picasso. I always have. I like the different periods. If you, if you read about him or you see, see movies about him or anything, yeah, he was a little pervy. But awesome, awesome artwork, just phenomenal. And one of the, several of his quotes have been, and I like Katie knows my studio walls are covered in quotes. You know, I'll hear something. Oh, yeah, that's a good one. We'll write it on the wall. But one of Picasso's uh, quotes is, "Relax, you're not normal." And I thought, okay, that was good. And the other one that, that has stuck with me for years is, "Art does away the, the pain from the soul, from life." And that's what it does for me. That's what art does for me. It just makes the day better. It dusts me off. It keeps me going. 